I'm back. Here are instructions to go over your last assignment in the electromagnetic spectrum um, slide set. It's called Star Emission Spectrum. It's linked on um, the second to last slide. Um, and I'm going to show you the way to make this work. So first of all, here is the exact handout you will be using. It allows you to type into boxes um, and you'll put X's if they have something and you'll just leave it blank if it doesn't or whatever your format is to identify elements that are in stars. Now the actual assignment though comes from a separate Google slide thing that I'm sharing to Google Classroom so you can play around with the pieces and then solve the problems as needed. So the first thing um, I would do then is enlarge the screen so it's normal sized. And in the instruction, it says you need to shrink the screen by holding control and clicking the minus sign until it's 25%. So find the CTRL and then hit the minus sign, which is below F12. At least on mine, I'm not sure about your Chromebook. And so I'm gonna click it and you'll see the sizing is going down, but the screen I want to see is getting bigger. And I wanna to go to 25, so there's 33, there's 25. Now. If you look at the instructions, it says grab and drag each element on the left to the correct star. So here are elements. We see this one's called hydrogen. And recall hydrogen was in that chart on the, the previous slide, um, which in, in now has shrunk because I want to shrink for the shrink for the screen. And so I'm going to try out hydrogen. I'm going to grab it by clicking left click. And I'm going to move it over to star number one. Okay, here's star number two, star number three, star number four, star number five. And you're going to try all seven elements against all five stars. And so I'm going to line it up the best I can. And I want, I'm going to zoom up here. So notice how as I'm moving this piece and I look at the numbers, 1.8, 1.9, 2.0, 2.1. They're basically right in line with each other. I size these special to enable you to do this. This is the option we have without being able to cut out the pieces with scissors. Um, so in any case, the goal of this is to match up the stripes on the chemical elements into the star. So if I look at this, and it's okay that stars have extra stuff, but the stuff that's here in the case of your elements over on the left here, they must match up. So if I look at this, the 1.9 here, this stripe, what I'm hovering on now, very nicely matches up with the stripe on the star. But we got to verify that for the rest. The same thing with around 2.7, the stripe matches up, this stripe matches up, and this stripe matches up. So I would say that's a positive match. Hydrogen is definitely in star number one. So I'm going to drag this piece back. At this point, you would go back to your assignment sheet, and I'm going to click on hydrogen, and again, you just have to trust me that that's hydrogen. I'm gonna put an X in the box, and then I'm gonna go on to the next element, which is going to be iron, okay? And you're gonna keep bouncing back and forth to this table um, and to the slide, and you'll be all good at that point. Okay, so let me just try one more time to show you what it looks like if something doesn't match. And I'm gonna grab iron. Same thing, I'm still comparing to star number one, I want to line up my pieces so the points, again, using the numbers above, make sure they're roughly perfectly above each other. And they look like they're pretty nicely sized. And so I'm grabbing this with the left click, and then I'm using the, the arrows. I'm going to say page up, page down, home, end. And that allows me to move up, down, left, right. Okay, so if I look at this, I'm looking at this first stripe, and there's definitely not a match. The second one kind of matches, but that's not enough. It's... Pretty much they all need to match or it's not good. And this point here, nope, it's off. Maybe some of these line up, but not good enough. So I would say there is no iron in star number one. Okay, so I'm going to go down to the next option. And this one says neon. Same thing, I'm going to grab it or click on it, and I can just use my arrows if that's your choice. I'm going to move it over to here. Again, I'm going to see, do my points match up? Yes, the numbers are above and below each other. And so now I'm going to look at the patterns. So again, I'm looking at the point near 2.0, and uh, it's kind of off. Um, 
Again, these are close but not good enough. Maybe there's a little bit of this fat stripe that matches. But all in all, all the points that look close are not good enough. So I would say there's no neon in star number one either. And so again, you go back and forth between this slide and somewhere here is my chart. And if I want, I can zoom back in, show you. And as I do so, we had an X because hydrogen was there, but nothing in iron, so I'm going to leave it blank. Nothing in neon, so I'm going to leave it blank. And I'll check sodium, lithium, magnesium, helium. And then I'll do the same thing with star two, three, four, five. The rest of this is also editable. I will link it to Google Classroom. It's also linked in the actual slide set. But if you want to turn it into Google Classroom, I suggest you open it there. I believe that is about it. So I will leave it at that if I can find the right window. I will enlarge my screen so I can bid you bye-bye for now. And by the time you get to this, you'll be a few days into the week. Um, you can check the calendar for, for the schedule, and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.